Hey guys, Greg here, Bone Tactical. We're gonna to talk today about everything for 2021 as far as the knives and tools go. This is not the clothing, this is not the survival gear, this is not the whole other aspect of what Bone Tactical produces. This is not the non-permissive environment gear. This is the edged weapons and self-defense tools. If you don't know me, I'm Greg from Bone Tactical and I make, design, and produce with my hands the most effective edged weapons and self-defense tools in the world. We've got the 2021, 2021 lineup here behind me. I will talk about what we've got going on here. Let me just start at one end. This is the bone breaker. A lot of you guys are familiar with the bone breaker. The new bone breaker is just absolutely beautiful. Handmade, stainless steel, never gonna change, never gonna tarnish, never gonna, the color's always there, hand stamped lettering. The perfect amount of weight, it's not too heavy. Okay, like it would be if it was solid, you can carry it on your keys. It fits in your pocket. Imagine that this is the pocket on my pants, it fits in your pocket like that, or it fits in your pocket like that for quick access, and then becomes, as you guys, I'm sure already know the ultimate force multiplier. If you need to take your keys off, it comes with this S clip and then it's ready to go. All right. I'll put this back up there. If you're going into a super clandestine area, all right, or you really just need to be low cover, low profile, low cover, we've got the stainless steel version of the bone opener. Okay. The other one's the bone breaker. And the difference is this one has a screwdriver right there built into it. So you can very easily say no, it's not a weapon. It's a screwdriver. Okay. It's got a one inch wrench. It's got a bottle opener there at the bottom. This is the aluminum serialized. It's a little bit thicker. All right. A little bit thicker, lighter, and it's serialized. Okay. This one has watermelon juice all over it because I just was punching it through a watermelon the other day just to show you guys how tough these are and how if, you, if, if you're holding one of these in your hand, what it does is this metal that's inside of this part of your hand s protects and supports these small bones. And if I were to hit something with my hand without this metal in there, what it would do is it would break these small bones of the hand. Okay, that's how what, it, what we call a boxer's fracture. And that's how these little small bones get broken along with your knuckles as well. So this, these are not just self-defense tools. If you wanna use them like that, they can be used as self-defense tools. We don't recommend using any, anything as a weapon. Okay, we cannot recommend using our tools as weapons legally, but anything that you hold in your hand, if you hold it right, can be a weapon. So this is a maybe glass breaker, force multiplier, whatever you wanna call it, but don't say that Bone told you it was a weapon, and I'm definitely not telling you to hit anybody with it because it's about the equivalent. If you, if, if you were to hit somebody with it, it's 800% stronger Okay, that's like getting hit with a major league with baseball player's baseball bat. All right, so, so don't do that, guys. This is the EDC Relentless here. Neck chain obviously goes around the neck. This is the best budget-friendly knife on the market for self-defense for anything like that for everyday carry. It's EDC, it's everyday carry stainless steel blade, super tough. The tang comes all the way down to about there, so it's almost a full tang. Just crazy tough injection molded sheath, really grippy. It's, it's just an incredible design, incredible knife. And what's really incredible is the price. It can come with this handmade sheath, hand sharpened blade for that price. You can get the clips. Okay, we have a variety of clips that you can put on there if you wanna clip it in your waistband. I'll show you really quickly this as well. This is the clip there, one of the available clip options. We're actually already producing and probably by the time this video produces, we'll be ready to show a new clip option that we've got coming out. But this basically fits in the pocket tough here. And what it allows you to do is carry in your pocket, pocket carry, okay? And then pull the knife out like that, all right, out of your pocket. It allows for belt carry as well. So I can slip this into my waistband 
and then slip this clip over the belt. And then I can even, I can reach down and grab it any kind of way I want to, even if it's in reverse ice pick grip. So this is just a super, super versatile knife. We all, all of our plastic sheaths are able to be used with this clip system. And then the new clip system that's gonna be new for 2020, which I don't have here right this second, is gonna be even better than this clip system. But this is still the best clip system on the market right now, and we're just improving it a little bit. We've got the NPE Ghost Knife. All right, guys. This is, a non, this is not an EDC knife. This is a non-permissive environment knife. What that means is this, there's no metal in here. There's no metal in the sheath, okay? There's no metal in the necklace. We changed the game forever with this guy because now you can have a knife when you can walk right through a metal detector should you have to do that. Undetectable, untraceable. If, you, if I had to throw it down right now, it wouldn't be able to tra be traced back to me, wouldn't be able to trace back to you. Fingerprint resistant handle. But the real game changer is that these guys out there were carrying plastic knives. I'm not even kidding you. Plastic knives, G10, just crap. Stuff that wasn't hard, stuff that wasn't sharp. G10, Zytel, all this crap, okay? Fiberglass and even plastic. Well, this is ceramic. It's harder and sharper than steel, okay? It's just crazy sharp, literally sharper than any steel knife on the market. And it's completely free of metal, non-magnetic, okay? Untraceable, undetectable. What we've got going on, you guys have seen the bone breaker lineup. Well, we have a micro version, okay? We have a micro version. This is the bone breaker micro. This is the one that's available in steel. We've got this available in steel, all right? We've got the EDC Kank which we'll talk about here in a second. This is the titanium version of the EDC Kank. This is the last one left, all right? I believe this is the last one left at the time of making this video. These are very expensive, all right? It's more of a collector's than anything. If you're looking for something that doesn't rust, that doesn't tarnish, all that, that's what we've got going there. We, if you're, again, looking for a super small clandestine version of the Bone Breaker, this is the Bone Breaker Micro in aluminum. They come in both stainless steel and aluminum. Okay, bottle opener. And this is just aluminum, serialized collector's edition, so you can see on there that it's uh, got the collector's number and all that stuff. So we do limited runs of everything, all right? These are CNC made. Everything else here is made by hand, all right? The Gladius, all right guys, this is the Gladius modern fighting knife, all right, can be used in here. Because of this, it slashes extremely well. It's the classic fitting in between the ribs design. I can spin it this way, and if I were to have to take out a sentry, sentry I could come up, cover the mouth, slice the throat on the way down, come back into the ribs because of this, because of this design here, it's, it, it, it's the only, fighting knife dagger on the market that slashes well because of this. It's got that slashing belly on there and stabs well because it's that classic dagger. So this is just, this is just simply, very simply a killing tool. It's a commando style knife, just a, a modern fighting weapon. All right, not a lot of you guys are gonna need something like that, but if you do, that's what it is. The Tomahawks, you guys have probably seen the Tomahawks. D make sure you guys check out the videos of the destruction testing because there's destruction testing of all of these knives. So you can see how they hold up. The videos are up on the on, on YouTube already, all the destruction testing videos. If you like these awesome videos and you wanna be notified when I post more, then you need to go to my channel homepage on YouTube. You need to click the subscribe button, but not only that, then you have to go over here to the bell. You gotta click the bell and then you click all. If you don't do that, YouTube won't notify you when I'm putting up this awesome new content. Cause I'm just showing you the lineup here. We have a, what we call a modern warrior, which is the tan versions here, and a resolute warrior, which is the dark versions here, okay? So the Tomahawks, you guys have seen, I, you know, at this point in time, I'm already known for making the most effective, strongest and sharpest Tomahawks in the world, okay? The thickness of the steel, the type of steel that I use, the processing that I use, the heat, the triple, triple heat hardened, triple flame hardened, three times heat treated, okay? So, just so many aspects of these, they come shaving sharp, all right? You guys, you guys are, I'm sure you already know about Bone Tactical Tomahawk, so we'll, we'll move on from there. Let's go to, so the, you just saw, this is the, this is the modern 
Warrior finish here, okay? Modern Warrior. It's designed to be basically camouflaged to the most, um, most variety of environments. Let's talk a little bit about the, the other end of that spectrum, which is the Resolute Warrior, okay? This is the Resolute Warrior Karambit. If you guys don't know about the Karambit, I can be in here working, I can do a Karambit double strike, all right? Lots of different things that you can do with a Karambit as far as using it as a self-defense weapon. The clip system fits on your belt. Okay, this Karambit changed the game. It was popular for changing the game of not just being such a incredible use Karambit, but it's also such a portable and concealable Karambit, okay? So you can't tell that I have this Karambit on right now. All that I have to do is reach in here, okay, pull my shirt up, and then I have the Karambit in my hand like that, all right? It's, it's, I didn't invent the Karambit, I just, invented the modern Karambit, all right? I made it usable for 2021, all right? So now we finally have a Karambit that is possible to be used in our modern world and concealed carry. That was before these knives, they weren't available to be concealed carry. We are coming out with some leather sheaths here very soon, so stay tuned for the leather sheaths. Brand new leather sheaths for 2021. I'm in the very beginning of 2021 right now, so I'm showing you what we have available. We're sold out of so much stuff right now, but we're working hard on getting more in stock. I'm sorry, we don't have any of these available. We don't have any of the, ED I don't even have an EDC kank in black to show you. I only have a Modern Warrior EDC kank here. I don't even have, they're so popular. Somebody called me the other day and bought all of them that I had, all right? And, uh, and I didn't believe it at first. And I said, well, we can sell you all of them if you really want them. And uh, I, I just put them on the website that day. And he said, you know, I wanna buy them all. I wanna buy them all right now. I wanna, how many do you have? Is it, the website says you have, I think it was 10 or 12 that I had just finished a batch of them. And he said, uh, is that all you have, 10 or 12? I said, well, I have 13 actually, because I've got one, my personal one on the wall. And he said, I wanna buy all 13 of them. And, and so I sold them all 13 of them, but uh, I'll just make another one for myself, I guess. This is the EDC Kank right here. Really also another game changer. Same way it can be used as the, as the Karambit with, that, with our new belt clip system. The Karambit one is actually the new, the new belt clip that's coming out this year. Uh, this is a little bit of an older style, but anyway, they're, they're pretty much interchangeable. These are just a little thicker, the belt clips on uh, the new 2021 ones. This knife m m was made popular for being the most concealable. Okay, it's, it's able to be, this belly you see again slashes well. This tip, very small diameter tip, stabs very well. And the biggest thing is, is the grip allows it to be so well used. You can use this like a fighting knife that's twice the size. It's as effective because it can be used this way, all right, in the hand. It's not going anywhere. I'm confident that it's not gonna slip out of my hand because of that supreme grip. And then I can hold it this way as well, all right? So it's just, uh, it's a, because of the incredible grip design, and it's such a small package, but it's still able to be used as a much larger knife. That's kind of a, that was a game changer here as well. This is the 2021 version. Again, we've got a black version of that with these beautiful Coca Bolo handles. We're using all the new wood as Coca Bolo. I'll show you just to get a look at that Coca Bolo. Look at that. Look how beautiful that Coca Bolo is. That is just beautiful, beautiful wood. Beautiful. It's, it, it's the best wood that you can get on the market. Coca Bolo is as good as it gets. And that's what all of our 2021 knives are Coca Bolo. We've got a couple. This is the Bloody Bill Bowie, by the way. Be sure to check out the destruction testing video on that. And if you're, if you like any of these knives, just type the name of the knife in Google or in YouTube, and you can see the full video on just that knife. This is a 2020 model breacher. I've got two of these left at the time of making this. I will show you the difference between the 2020 model breacher. This is mahogany handles. So we don't use mahogany in 2021. We're using only Coca Bolo, which is a step above mahogany. Both are great woods, but uh, Coca Bolo is just the, the actual, the Coca Bolo that we're using. We're using a little bit bigger buckles now too. Uh, this is again, this is a 2020 model and we made some slight, we make some slight changes every year. I will show you those changes. All right, this is again, this is a 2020 model. And this is the 2021 breacher here. So let me go ahead and show you. 
the difference here. That's, that's the 2020 breacher versus the 2021 breacher right there. That's what you guys are looking at. The, uh, this pen, the 2021 penetrates a little bit better because we changed the design of the, of the tail spike. Okay. The face is just about the same. The choke up grip option is just about the same. The handles are just about the same. The thickness is the same a lot. There's a lot very similar stuff going on with these, but we, again, we, this is uh this is the 2020 and this is the 2021. So that's a little compare and contrast for you guys. The bushcraft spear is not new for 2021. So I'm not going to cover this in detail. I've only got a few of these left as well, and I have not made any in 2021. And I'll be honest with you. I I'm, I've got so much stuff that I'm making in 2021 that I'm scheduled through the end of the year already. Uh, even with custom orders and stuff like that. And I don't think I'm going to be able to make any more bushcraft spears this year, but I do have more bushcraft spears planned on, on, I plan on making more. And, uh, I have some little revisions I'm going to make to it. I think I'm going to offer one with a leather sheath down the road, but, uh, right now I don't have any plans to do that. So comment below and let me know which, what you think is the best of these of the new 2021 knives and tools. Be sure to check out the clothing line as well. This is the El Sicario covert concealed carry shirt that I'm wearing right now. Be sure to check out the survival gear. We've got a full line of survival gear now, bug out bags, backpacks, survival bags, medical gear, all that kind of stuff we're now getting into, uh, top of the line stuff as always. But please let me know, I'm asking you to comment below just which one of these that's your favorite, all right? Let me know which one's your favorite. If you've got any design ideas, if there's anything you want to see more of, if there's anything you want to see less of, let me know. Your feedback's always, always appreciated. I'm going to keep these videos coming. I made a 2020 video. So if you're a real big bone tactical fan, go back and check out the what's new for 2020 video. And you can see the, the changes here. Uh, next year is going to be another big year for us. We're, we're really just getting after it and changing the world and changing the tactical game. Thanks for watching. Bone out.